levels of biodiversity so there are three different levels of biodiversity one is global level national level and local level so let's discuss the diversity biodiversity at the global level biodiversity at global level is vast and widespread due to variation in climate atmosphere topography factors and adapic factors also at global level there are about 82 million species of living organisms based on the climate they are divided into four different zones that is arctic zones southern temperate zones northern temperate zones and tropical zones so what is arctic zones zones near the poles they are considered as the arctic zones when the examples of the plants and animals are like algae moles mosses lichens then then orchids or uh, these are some of the vegetation vegetations southern temperate zones these regions are includes africa australia and new zealand and the, and the and the vegetations are chiefly ferns and gynosperms so these are southern temperate zones northern temperate zones are the part of the united states of the america and canada forest of gymnosperms tall trees like oak maple etc are the main vegetations here tropical zones regions of tropical africa tropical asia mexico and large areas of south america they are including included in the tropical zones and the main uh, things main plants are here are orange mango banana etc on this map map you can see all the different zones like polar zones are marked in the red zone and then temperate zones are in yellow and tropical zones are in green colored so these are different different zones of the world based on climate now based on the fauna that means based on the animals they are divided into five different regions like oriental regions with high rainfall is sufficient with in this region rainfall is sufficient in most of the part of the region and the animals mainly there is tiger nilgai rabbit flying fox and etc peacock etc new tropical region these are the regions of the southern america central america and some part of the mexico so west indies like west indies monkey dogs deer deers cattle squirrel electric eel and hummingbirds are very common in this region then there are australian regions deserts and dry plains kangaroo kangaroo honey eaters and pigeons owls parrots etc are the common animals in the australian regions then there is narcotic region these are the green lands and north of the north america flying squirrel vultures kingfishers ducks flamingo are the main uh, animals in this region then palatic region largest geographical region includes europe northern part of the africa and asia this is having 135 families of the terrestrial vertebrates and on this map you can see all the different regions available here so narcotic region is the northern america the neotropical region is the southern america african region is the mainly africa then palatric region is the generally uh, northern part of the asia oriental region is the indian part and then there is australian region all these different regions are having different kind of animals and that's why they are divided into different different parts based on the animals available over there at the national level we have already discussed about the mega diversity in the india or india is known as mega diversity nation because of all those things so owing to the wide variety of the physical and climatic factors in india has a rich biodiversity on the basis of biodiversity india has been divided into 10 biogeographical regions as well as biodiversity of india is quite pe peculiar and highly categorized most of it is localized in the western ghats and northwestern himalayas and andaman nicobar islands and what about the local level biodiversity a variety of species found at a given place constitutes the local level biodiversity so at particular local level whatever biodiversity is available can be considered as the local biodiversity local climatic conditions geomorphic and ecological factors are responsible for local biodiversity